The Quran is a word in Arabic language that does not mean book. Kitab means book. It means a recitation. Even the very first word that came to the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, was not read. Although many people misunderstand in the English, they say read. But it's not an English language. And it was an English understanding. In fact, there was no English at all at that time. The word was Iqra. And Iqra comes from a root Qara'a. And this means recite. And that was the order given to the Prophet Muhammad. Peace and blessing be upon him. Recite. Now some have translated this as proclaim. Proclaim. Which would not be wrong. That would not be wrong. And read would not be wrong if you meant it in the instance that we used to use it a hundred years ago. English language changes, by the way, rapidly. A hundred years ago, uh, if you said read, some would understand that you were going to stand and recite poetry. And they were called readings. Also, back then, if you said, oh, my uncle's coming over and uh, he's such a jovial fella, he's gay. <laughs> we would have understood something quite different than what we would understand today. So we understand how English is changing and how even our society changes. But the words in the Arabic are still preserved and we can still go back and understand what the Quran meant then and then let us look what it means to us today. And that is not to say that we're going to give new meanings or come up with a new Quran or try to reinterpret things. Because if you did this, you would actually be taking away from the beauty of Islam, which is perfection in itself.